Shall we do some yoga? Yes, we shall. Let us begin in a nice quiet seat of meditation. Let the legs be crossed and the eyes be closed, gazing so, so deeply in through our third eye, the most powerful vision in the human being, the seat of intuition. Let's take a big breath, fill up the lungs. With an open mouth, exhale. Clearing out, clearing out and making space for the new day. Take another big inhale. Open mouth. Settling into the body, settling into the sit bones. One more big cleansing breath. Open mouth. Giving back to the earth anything used up, anything heavy, energetic or physical. Bring the arms up and high overhead as you inhale. Hold for a breath. Let the palms face in towards each other. Bring the belly button back towards the spine. Lift the pelvic floor. Big inhale. As you exhale, use the lap muscles to pull the scapula into the side body. Feel a nice, long, strong side body. Shoulders roll out and tuck down. Lift from the crown of the head. And let the chin move back towards the throat to elongate the back of the neck. On your next breath, interlace the fingers and push the palms up and into the sky. Take the big good morning stretch. Very good. And as you exhale, let the hands come around behind the back to interlace. Pull the fists together if that feels okay. And you can leave the elbows bent as much as you need to, working to straighten the arms, pushing back and behind to make space across the collarbone. Again, lifting up from the crown of the head to lengthen the spine. Pull the navel back in deep. Lift the pelvic floor. Beautiful alignment in the vertebra. As your cosmic antenna tuning in. Very good. On an inhale, let's sweep the arms back up and high overhead. And exhale, bring the hands to pranam at the third eye. Set an intention for your practice, a powerful intention from a fearless heart. Take a big inhale now. And as you exhale, bow forward. So humble. Honor the practice. Thank yourself for showing up on the mat today. Invite the ujjayi pranayama. The breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Use the powerful activation in the pelvic floor. Use the deep, deep inner looking and your powerful intention. One more breath here. And squeeze out. Very nice. On an inhale, let's come up over the crossed ankles. Find a neutral tabletop. And let's find the movements. Cat cow to begin just gently to lubricate the spine. Inhale, arching. Let the heart shine. And exhale, rounding. Feel the space move through the low spine. Continue with the breath. Big inhale. And big exhales. Very good. Stack the shoulders over the wrist. Feel the strong hands. And at the top of the next exhale, push the hip all the way back to the heel for child pose. Untuck the toes and let the tops of the feet expand to the earth. If you'd like to take a nice half lift coming on the fingertips. And exhale, settle down. Take three breaths here in child pose and really just feel the breath. Allow this breath to cultivate the pranic connection in the body. Very good. Feel that powerful lifting, mula bunda, uriyana bunda, and the subtle tuck to the chin. Very nice. And then when you're ready, let's round ourselves all the way back up through cat, bend the elbows, place the chest, chin down on the earth, anahata asana, heart pose. You can walk the knees closer or further, depending on what feels good for your spine. 
squeeze out from the pelvic floor, fire up the core, detoxify. Very good. And when you're ready, take the hands under the hip, bring the forearms together, press the palms down flat, big inhale, and then exhale, lower the pelvic dish onto the forearms, locust. As you inhale, float, and roll the shoulders back. Feel the alignment through the radius and the ulna. Feel the elbow align. Carpal tunnel, powerful, lift a bit higher, inhale. And as you exhale, let the knees down gently. Lift the elbows out from underneath and float. Press the feet down, reach the arms back, straight behind. Use the back strength. Inhale up a bit higher, and exhale, bend the elbows. Take the hands down right under the chest plate. Inhale, rise up, baby cobra. Elbows stay bent as much as you need to. Relax the glutes. Strong hands, use every bit of the hand, the pad, the palm, the fingers. One more big breath here, tuck the shoulders down. And let the chin move back towards the throat. Very good. Now we'll move the belly button first. Inhale up through, tabletop. Exhale, push it back, top pose. Very nice. Inhale, round yourself all the way back up through cat and come to the neutral tabletop. Let's take a wrist expanding cat cow. Turn the fingertips back to face the knees. Beautiful, big inhale, arching. And as you exhale, round, and let yourself bow it. Maybe come up over the fingertips, bending the elbows, snap, crack, pop. Very good, release it out. Rise up onto the knees. Reach the arms up and high overhead. Let the left hand grab the right wrist, big inhale. As you exhale, take it over to the left side, gaze up and under. Power in the core, and hold. Inhale back through center, right hand grabs the left wrist, reach up. Pull the elbow behind the ear. Power in the core, flatten the pelvic dish. Expanding side body, one more, and hold. Very good. Inhale back through center, reach up and high. As you exhale, take the hands around behind the back to interlace. Take the crown down, find rabbit. Shoulder expansion, roll forward onto the top of the head. Let the chin come to the chest. Bring the palms of the hand together. Squeeze the scapula back. Maybe you can get a nice adjustment for the neck here. Big inhale. Push the hands back and toward the belt line. And then let them come up over for one more. And hold. Nice popping, I got one too. On the inhale, take the hands down to the earth, elbows in tight, tuck the toes. And exhale, straighten the legs up to down dog. Take a breath. Step your feet up into your comfy, cozy doggy stance. And use the strong hands. Use the pad, the palm, the fingers. Every bit of the hand almost makes suction to the earth. Ground in all four corners of the feet. If there's any movements that call you, feel free to wiggle it out, twist and shout. Snap, crackle, and pop your way into a really blissful body this morning. Feeling so good. Wedge the hip back and high, breathing. Grounding through all four corners of the feet. And gazing back to the belly button one day. Nice, let's find freedom for some air. On an inhale, we'll take the right leg up and bend the knee, go ahead and hip circle, knee circle, ankle circle, and then settle into an open dog. Powerful, push, push through the arms, push through the standing leg, and allow the expansion through the psoas. One more inhale here, and stay for the exhale. Nice. Inhale, take the right leg back to square up and feel the strength in the obliques. And exhale, shift the weight forward. Let the right knee touch the nose. And set the right foot down between the hands. Inhale, left foot follows, halfway lifted. Take the feet together to touch. Really powerful with the toes. Think about today. 
What happens to your sternum when you press your big toe into the earth? Really powerful, pushing down through the toes. Active, the active engagement comes all the way up through the legs, through the pelvic floor, through the navel. Let's the shoulders move back into the socket, opens the heart. Relax the head and the neck with Tanasana. Take a full breath. Beautiful. On the inhale, you might want to bend the knees if you need to, burst all the way up and high. As you exhale, slice open over the right shoulder to twist. Just take a nice breath and steer the hip forward. Gazing back, surrender back. Take your right hand, push the hip square. <coughs> Reach back with the left arm, power the leg, and hold. Very good. Inhale, circle back through center, reaching up and high. And exhale, slice open the opposite side. Big inhale, square up. Exhale, reverse the sweet acquiescence. Feel the low spine. And stay for the breath. Power up from the tummy, from the pelvic floor. Inhale, sweep back and high overhead. And exhale, hinge at the waist, fold to the earth. Very nice, half lift length and flat three inches. Under the belly button as you fold. Three at the bottom, if you'd like to take the hands to the back of the calf. Tuck the shoulders back. Breathe deep. And hold. Nice. Fingertips down. Take the right leg straight back. Feel the decos in a square head. Exhale, plug the right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, take the right leg up. Bend the knee, gaze up over the left shoulder. See the toes. Feel the freedom like a ninja. Inhale, kick the left leg back to square up. Exhale, set the, that's the right foot. Set the right foot down, let the left foot follow into plank. Pardon my dyslexia. Beautiful, strong breath here in plank. Shoulders over wrist, elbows in tight. Exhale, knees. Chin, chest, slide through. Inhale, Bhujangasana, cobra pose. Shoulders back in the socket. Good bird, corks. Powerful. Corks likes to do the dishes sometimes. Don't be afraid to do the dishes. Beautiful, maybe take the tops of the feet and pull back towards the shin. Feel the palm of the hand, the pad of the hand. Ripping with the fingers. Make space across the heart, roll the inner elbow forward. <laughs> and breathing. Pretty sure there's nothing she can hurt up there. I looked ahead of time. Take another breath. And let the chin move back towards the throat. Nice. Inhale up through tabletop. Exhale, push back through child to dog. Step the feet back up into your comfy, cozy doggy stance. And feel that powerful internal rotation up and through the quadriceps. The hip wedges up deep and high. Very good. Internal. The elbow rolls out forward as the shoulder rolls external. So this creation of space for the behind the heart of it all. You get under the eye of the elbow and breathe. Very good. On the inhale, take that left leg up with the freedom. Find some hip circles, find some knee circles. Find some ankle circles. And then settle in and allow yourself this nice open dog here. Beautiful breath, pushing firmly the earth away through a strong straight shoulder. Flexing the standing leg, letting the ribs move under, grounding through the foot. Really nice, Stacy. Mmm, it feels good though, yeah, letting it go. I can feel you letting it go right now. As we melt. Inhale, take the left leg back to square and strong. Exhale, left knee to nose. Make the connection. And set the left foot down between the hand. Inhale, right foot follows, halfway lifted. And exhale, fold it down deep. Three at the bottom. 
Big breath. And push out of the earth. Flatten the three inches below the belly button. Is there a kitten in there? And stay for the breath. Very nice. Inhale first all the way up and high. Ordva Hastasana to Pranam. Balance on the left foot. Bring the right foot up. Right hand, right hip, left hand, right foot. Expand out. Extend out the right foot and twist. Maybe gazing over the back shoulder. Power. Breath. And hold. Nice. Inhale, release back through center with control. Ekapada. Exhale, release to standing. Inhale, left foot. Exhale, left hand, left hip, right hand, left foot. Extend. And then extend the left arm back to twist. Feel the power. Standing leg active into the belly button, into the chin. And hold. Beautiful. Gorgeous yogis. Inhale back through center with control. Yep. And exhale into the earth. Gorgeous. Inhale, sweep the arms up and high overhead. As you exhale, give it your back bending. However much feels good. Maybe take the hands to the hip, push forward. Maybe walk it down the thighs. Open the heart, push the big toe into the earth. Focus the breath. Inhale, lift from the tummy. Elbows up and high behind the ears. Exhale, hinge at the waist. Skydive to the earth. Gorgeous. Take a half lift. Fold down and deep. Maybe take the hands under the heels, coming up onto the toes, and really feel. Press those big toes into the earth. What happens to the sternum? What happens to the psoas? What happens to the shoulders and the spine, the middle spine? Very good. Release the hands, fingertips down. Take the left leg straight back, Dekasana. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, squatting. Inhale, left leg up and over the right shoulder, bend the knees, see the toes. Stay for the breath. Inhale, sweep the left leg back to square. And exhale, set the left foot down, let the right foot fall, strong plank here. Shoulders over wrist, big inhale, elbows in tight. And exhale, your chaturanga down. Inhale, top to the feet, shoulders back up, doggy. Hold, breathing. Quadriceps active, shoulders roll back. Chin towards the throat. And one more breath. Power the psoas. Inhale, up to dog, pushing back. Find the breath. Settle in, prepare. Inhale, gaze forward, bend the knees a lot. Exhale, step, float, or fly. Let the feet come down between the hands with control. Very nice. Inhale, push the weight up into the hands. Shift it forward into your chaturanga back. Beautiful. Up dog or cobra. And back to the downward facing dog. Come back to the dog. Come back to the breath. Wedge the hip back and square. Feel the internal rotation. Gaze all the way back. Expand the neck. Very good. Let's flow it. Inhale, right leg comes up to open. Big freedom, powerful. Gazing under the side body. Expanding through the psoas, hip wedges high, and make the space. Let the ribs move through. One more. Gorgeous. Inhale, take the right leg back, square and strong. Exhale, right knee, cross, left elbow, EPK2, fly the scissors. See that arm balance, gorgeous. And when you're ready, set it down into the fallen triangle, pushing the right foot forward. Left hand 
back to the sky. Power out. Feel the big toe on the left foot. And breathe. Inhale, circle the left arm around in front of the face. Shoulders from the high. Exhale, left hand to the earth. Inhale, thread the right leg back up and through. Bend the knee, set the right foot down behind the body, flip the dogger. Beautiful breath. Push the earth away. And hold. Very nice. Shoulder circle, right arm overhead. Exhale, right hand to the earth. Inhale, right leg up, three dog. And right knee to nose. Set the right foot down between the hand. Rise up, warrior three, airplane. Balancing on the right foot. Shoot the arms back. Breathing. Gorgeous. On the inhale. Hold. Steady focus your drishti. And rise up, ekapada, tadasana. Go ahead and take the left leg and see if you can hug it into the side body. Wrap the left arm around the shin and then take the right arm around behind. See if you can find the bind standing wing reliever. Beautiful breath. Stay focused. And push the earth away, big toe. That's right. When you're ready, release. Take it into the half pigeon. I'm sorry, half lotus. Allow yourself to hold here if you have the bind. Take it, squat it into the bind. Once you achieve the bind, do take a breath standing vertical. Feel the big toe. Feel the belly button. Feel the chin. Point the left knee straight down. Now, if you'd like to fold, Micro bend the right knee, reach for the earth with the right hand. Let the right hand find the earth and push out of the right leg to fall. Powerful. Half lotus, half bound. With the forward fold, gorgeous. Now, release the left hand to the earth. Slide the left foot into just figure four. Very good. Figure four squatting. Take the breath. Very nice. Hands down, flying pigeon. Let yourself push off the left knee so much. Float the right leg up. And then we're going to shoot the right foot back and set it down. Very good. Take the left foot down to the earth. Take it to the sideways of the mat. So left foot forward, right foot back. And then pivot sideways. Yep. Nice halfway lift. And fold through for prasarita. Big inhale. And flatten the three inches below the belly button. Internal rotation through the quadriceps. I think you would be facing the other way, Stacey. Go ahead and switch it now. Left foot is in the front of the mat. Very good. Big inhale. And yeah, a little bit of a new movement, but it's a good one. Feel the power on that inner thigh. Allie's really got it locked here. I can see she's got massive control with the head of the femur. Really good. Really power through the knee as well. And that's going to protect you for the long run. Hi, little rascal. Big breath. And stay for the exhale. Very good. Now, on the inhale, walk the hands back out in front for the halfway lift. Exhale, travel to face the wall behind you. Get the hip, lift the heart. Exhale, straighten and bow. Nice. Take the right leg up through three dog all the way to hand standing against the wall. Satisfy a handstand, feel the control, and then bend the left knee, and we'll set the left foot down between the hands with control. Extending the right leg straight back, and right hand down, left arm up, runner's lunge, simple twist. And exhale, flowing to the outer edges of both feet. Dancing moon, take a full breath. 
Very good. Inhale, sweep the left arm back and through. And exhale, travel all the way back to the top of the mat. Dip the hip and lift the heart. Exhale, straighten and bow. Very nice. Rebend, step up, hips width. And squat. Yoga squat here. Take your time, Malasana. Lifting up the pelvic floor, rolling the shoulders back, breathing deeply in through the nose, out through the nose. Find the texture, find the rhythm here. Feel the squeezing so much as we take it into crow. Bring the knees up into the armpits, bring squeezing towards the center line, bring the heels up into the glutes. Let the gaze be out in front of the hands, arms perhaps straightening and breathing. We'll float on an exhale, big inhale now. And exhale your chaturangas back. Beautiful. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, back to the down doggy. Back to the dog, back to the breath. Settling now. And feel so strong. This is your body, the human being, an amazing, amazing creature. Wow. Wow is right, Corks. Wow is right. On the inhale, take the left leg up, open the hip. Big freedom, pushing the earth away, expanding through the psoas, ribs moving under, feel your strength. Feel your beauty. You are just as amazing as a flower, as a thunderstorm. Oh, <laughs> and Joe always does that too. And it's a very nice way to give it up though. Inhale, kick the left leg back and square. Exhale, left knee cross body, right elbow connection, scissors to fly. Feel the powerful EPK2 arm balancing. And then lay it into your fallen triangle. Left foot forward like a work of art. Power the earth away. Feel the pinky toe. And hold. Good morning. Good morning. Inhale the right arm back in high overhead. Exhale, right hand to the earth. Inhale, left leg re-threads up and high. Bend the knee, flip the dog. Left foot sets behind the body. Open heart. Open potential. Inhale, left arm circles high. Exhale, left hand to the earth. Inhale, left leg up for three dog. Exhale, left knee to nose. Set the left foot down between the hand. Very good. Rise up, warrior three, airplane arms. Steady focused, powerful balance. And breathing. Gorgeous. When you're ready, let's rise up through Epipata and gather up the wind reliever. Take the right arm, wrap the right shin. Find the bind and standing tall, push the earth away. Breathe. Feel the big toe. And when you're ready, let's take it into half lotus. Powerful focus balancing. Find the Padahasta binding. Beautiful focus, vertical spine. Take a breath, push that right knee straight down. And then when you're ready to fold, micro bend the left knee, reach to the earth with the left hand. Find the earth, and then push the hip high through the big toe, through the pinky toe, through the ankle. Surrender.
Very good. When you're ready, release the right hand down to the earth. Shift it into figure four. Let the right foot move up towards the knee. Squat. Find prayer hands. And balancing. pigeon, we're just going to set it in to that lunging position. So let the left leg reach back, and then you can set the left foot down, drop the right foot to the earth, and take it to the sideways. Beautiful. Nice halfway lift. Take the hands behind the back. Interlace from Pasarita B. Powerful. Use the power from the hands to organize the arms, palms together. Feel the pinky toe. Corpse, do you get that? So he's calling. Breathing. Flatten the three inches up and under the belly button. And one more breath. Stay for the exhale. On the inhale, walk the hands back out in front of your halfway lift. And as you exhale, travel to face the wall behind you. Dip the head and lift the heart. Exhale, straighten and bow. Nice. And then we'll take the left leg up all the way to handstanding. Satisfy a handstand against the wall. And bend the right knee. Find the control, and we'll set the right foot down between the hands as the left foot reaches back. Left hand stays to the earth, right arm circles up and high, runners lunge simple. And exhale, float it to the outer edges. Surrender. Inhale, right arm sweeps back to take you to the top of the mat. Dip the hip, lift the heart. And exhale, straight down. Really gorgeous, you guys. Step up, feet hips width. Peace fingers grab the big toe. Big breath here. Shoulders roll back and bow. Breathe deep. Use the arm strength, use the shoulder back strength to pull the scapula in, feel the flatness and then bending the elbow to bring the heart down. Relax the head and neck. Wrap the left arm through. Maybe reach the right arm around to half bind and press the left leg straight. Maybe take the right arm and wrap the right arm through. Finding any one of these variations or all of them to start to make space in the shoulder. Maybe squatting to take both arms through to find your guillotine. Perhaps Tiki Pasana B. Perhaps Tiki Pasana arm balance to Bakasana transition. Yeah, Natalie. Powerful squeezing, powerful lifting. Feel the flat three inches under the belly button. That's the control center. Maybe Ekapada out of this one. Yeah, Stacy. Nice squeezing from the core. Yeah. <laughs> Find that child pose. Take it back to the breath. Really good, really strong. Let the low back separate from the hip. When you're ready, maybe back in the down doggy. Take a big breath, gaze forward, bend the knees a lot. 
Exhale, step, float, or fly. One more. Beautiful halfway lift. And when you're ready, step or float back. Now you go elbows. <laughs> nice. Final chaturanga. Very good. And meet me in the child pose. Let's find our head standing, supported. When you're ready, interlace the hands to the back of the head. Bring the hip up over the shoulder. Find your meditative head standing. Slow it all down. Feel the full body engagement. Feel the hips stacked up over the vertebra, over the neck. Feel the support from the hands and the skull. The elbows. The support from each fiber of the muscle expanding to the sky. Maybe the gaze is all the way across the floor into infinity. Maybe the eyes are closed. Breathe through the psoas. Breathe through the Mula Wunda. Uyam Wunda. Chagai Wunda. Active tree. Seven energy wheels. When you're ready, gently find your way back to the earth. Take the forearms down for dolphin. Feel free to move to a position against the wall if that feels good. Take your time to find the dolphin. Elbows down. Elbows tighter. Hands wider. Really breathe in the dolphin and let yourself move through the stiffness in the good morning shoulders. Good morning. Oh. Let's see a big 
these days. A little bit of temperature in here today. Huh? I know. <laughs> nice. Yeah. No, we got a good flow. Oh, yeah. nice flow today. Yeah, good power in the room today. Really lift. back under the navel center and make that space for the torso to lay right down into the cradle. Ooh, challenge. 
sit bone, float the feet, and cross out the shins, bow the third eye to touch, come back to your intention, come back to your breath, when you're ready, knees out wide, peace fingers grabbing the big toes, Vordva Mukha Upavishta Feels so good to be alive. The gift itself, the whole meaning of this life thing, is just to live. Life is richness. You're the most wealthy of anything just by living, just by breathing life into this body. A big breath here. And as you exhale, bend the knees around the spine. Take it all the way to plow. Let the legs come up over the head and stack the belly button over the chin. Feel the lungs expand, the windpipe expand. Let the, bl the blood and the breath flow uninhibited. Part of the nature of this life in the nature of this practice is to find comfort in, in an inherently uncomfortable situation, which is this life. The nature of duality gives us discomfort so that we can know comfort itself. It gives us the darkness so we can experience the light. When you're ready, support the low spine, bend the knees, bring the legs straight up overhead, finding Sarvangasana, queen of all the asanas, shoulder standing, push the earth away, Big inhale, exhale, knees to the side face, Karna Pindasana with the ear pinion pose. 
close off the sound of the outside world. And when you're ready, roll it down. Nice and gentle. One vertebra at a time. Knees hugging into the chest until the low back finds the earth. Iron it down nice and flat. Happy baby and on the balakasana. Take any baby movements that call you. And then when you're ready, dropping the feet, hips width. Take the supported bridge if that suits you today. Bringing the hip up, walking the elbows under, and using the hands to create a powerful lifting structure right under the sacrum. Ground the feet down and press the chest towards the chin. Breathing. If you'd like to take it deeper, go ahead and set yourself up for the Orbhadhanya Asana. Taking the hands up overhead, of course, any variations that call to you. Find the breath, find the big heart opening. to the earth, bring the knees into the chest, give yourself the big squeeze here, and extend the right leg out long, twist the left knee across to the right side, gazing out over the left shoulder, final spinal twisting, big relaxing twist, kick straight through the bottom leg. Make a nice smooth axis for the rotation. When you're ready, bring it back into the center, hug it in, reset the low spine here. And exhale, left leg long, right knee twisting. Sublime twist. Gazing out over the right shoulder. Feels so good in the body. All eight limbs of yoga active and present. The meditative way of being. The self-realized yogi. The Adi yogi, the natural. Inside each and every one of us. The ability to focus with a pinpoint accuracy. The ability to quiet the external world and look internal for real wisdom. The ability to harness the breath. The ability to harness physical movement. And your amazing poise with ethics and morality. Just such a well-rounded, beautiful creature the yogi, the human being. On an inhale, bring it back into the center. Give yourself the big squeezing in here. Let the third eye come up to touch the knees. And then pressing the legs straight up in the sky, right hand to the tummy, left hand to the heart, legs up the wall pose. Allow the breath to flow. Allow the blood to cool off here. Final movements calling you. Take them now. And then relax it out onto the floor. Shavasana, corpse pose. Let the movements come back through the small joints of the fingers and the toes until it builds into enough energy that you can be drawn to either side of the body. 
into a fetal position. Have a breath. Allow the blood to flow and move. Detoxify, nourish, and refresh. And when you're ready, gently make your way back to a quiet seat of meditation. And we'll close our session with the chanting of Om. Our three Oms together as mantra, as medicine, <coughs> and as a simple yet very, very powerful experience to share the vibration of the universe. Sit tall. Bring the hands together at the heart. <coughs> One full breath to prepare ourselves. So big inhale now. Open mouth, let it go. to the third eye, hands in prana, fill up the lungs, fill up the heart. May there be love and peace among all beings of the universe. May there be peace, may there be peace. Let's repeat together, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. All together, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Bow forward, Namaste. Thank you.